Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture, we will discuss about simple equations. Okay. So what is simple equations student? I will tell you this by giving one mind game example. Suppose in a class, there are three students okay let's say a b and c are three students so they are playing one mind game okay this is just to give you an overview what of what is simple equations how we will reach to simple equations how we will make simple equations so this is an example just to give it a thought of how how we are reaching to simple equations in general life okay so they are playing one mind game so what is the mind game a asked B A said to B that he should think of a number but no need to tell anybody okay so B thought one number let's say this is X okay he doesn't tell to anybody what he thought okay then a asked him asked him means b to multiply this number the number which b has thought by 10 a asked him but a doesn't know about the number then a asked him to add 20 to this number so what B did so they don't know what is going on each end okay A is giving the statement and B is doing whatever A is saying to him so B add 20 to the okay but to this number which he got after multiplying okay then A asked what is the result you are getting so on answer to this B said I am getting let's say 50 okay so B said he is getting the number as 50 after doing all the uh, equations like multiplying and addition so A instantly said the number you thought was 3 how A comes to know about this number ok so this is the basic background of simple equations how we are introducing simple equations how simple equations help us to solve such illustrations such examples so I will tell you in my subsequent lecture on simple equations how we arrive to the simple equations and how what how they are useful in our day to day life ok so stay tuned students for my next lecture on simple equations ok there I will give you how to make equation from statements or how to write a statement from equations ok so stay tuned students for my next lecture on simple interest simple equations thank you students if you are still any doubt with this example then you can ask me and 
please try to solve how a gets 3 as the remainder this is very good question okay which you will get your answer in subsequent classes thank you students happy learning